The first day when I brought them home, I honestly thought that I couldn't do it. Both of their eyes were so badly infected. Do you guys, you guys want food? They were around four weeks old. They were so tiny. They fit in the palm of my hand. Definitely was heartbreaking, but they didn't have anyone besides me, so I was determined to fight for them. Their demeanor was incredible. You would never know that they were blind. You could see they wanted to get better too. They were so playful and they wanted to explore everything. The first week somehow they escaped their playpen. I heard meow and the Hammy and George both at the very top of the cat train. either of them got up there. I was scared that they were going to get hurt. Obviously I was wrong because they're so smart. They still climb down the cat tree backwards and sometimes George does like a little beeping noise when he comes down. Like he's letting everyone know he's coming down. Oh boy, come on. They do this cute little chirpy meow to find each other. They called it echolocating. actually couldn't have surgery when they first came to us because they were way too small. They did have three total surgeries. You got your baby? And as they started growing older and getting healthier, everything started to kind of click. <laughs> They're still pretty inseparable. Oh, baby, love you forever. I'm hugging him. Boys. Boys. Tammy has a heart of gold. He has to be friends with anyone that walks in this house. When we bring new fosters in, he is immediately their best friend. George, I like to call him the golden retriever of kittens. He's super, super sweet. He loves to play. He wants to play with his toys 24 7. It feels good to see that they're almost a year old and now they're thriving. I really can't imagine them going to any other home. They've changed my life forever. They grew up here, they love it here, they know their home.